being here for uh, this uh, high-level forum with uh, Amuji Sisters has just been incredible. Um, it really feels like uh, a complete unplugging um, and then a plugging into a high-voltage system um, which uh, completely recharges. Um, and um, nourishes uh, the system, reminds me, and I feel like I echo many others, uh, of the why. Uh, the why reminds uh, me and many others that we are not alone. And uh, hearing um, uh, Madam EJS yesterday speaking of uh, the sacrifices of a purposeful dream and a purposeful existence, but the joys that come from that, um, knowing that there is more beyond the sacrifice and beyond the pain, you know, makes all of it um, uh, seem worth it. It's an incredible network, first of all. Uh, it's, it's a sisterhood. Um, you know, I used to uh, uh, hear people say, oh, my sister, oh, my brother, and I'd say, oh, my God, all these uh, leaders are claiming to be sisters and brothers. Uh, what a cliche. <laughs> and um, now being part of the Amuje uh, sisterhood and actually calling people my sisters, you know, I, I chuckle at myself sometimes <laughs> um, because they really are, you know. They is complete trust, there is support, and there are opportunities. There's a vast world of opportunities that comes from, from this network. I told you offline uh, that uh, I don't want to answer this question because I might cry. Um, because Madam uh, uh, EJS has really, uh, since we met, um, played such a fantastic and important role in, in my life. And not just in leadership, but in my personal life, um, in holding me up uh, when I truly needed support. It's not about leadership. Uh, in public life or in political life. What leaders need is how to actually put and sustain their personal lives in their political and leadership lives together. That's what you need. And having people that keep your personal life together as you navigate your leadership journey um, is what truly defines your leadership uh, journey. And um, that has been quite invaluable uh, to, to me. In leadership, um, one of the things that I was told uh, when I was appointed to Parliament uh, is that leadership is very alienating. It's very lonely, and as you go up, you imagine that you're going up a peak. You're going up Mount Everest, and as you go up Mount Everest, sometimes you will, you will see people uh, taking oxygen tanks because there is no oxygen. The air gets thin as you go up. And that uh, actually, uh, that analogy, um, references that there are few friends and there are few people uh, as you go up and so uh, to have this sisterhood uh, to have the friendship um, and mentorship uh, of uh, Madam EJS the coaches uh, that come with the Amuje initiative has um, been one of uh, the best things uh, about uh, Amuje. And uh, you know, uh, you, some people like um, Madam Amina Mohammed, you know, they, they're a phone call away. Um, and uh, some of them I had never met them before, but I had, we are in the same professional circles. And I, I got random phone calls from them because, you know, uh, 
their coaches um, and their friends of Madame EJS and uh, they call me because she said, can you check up on her? So it's, it's not as lonely as, uh, and the air is not as thin uh, as I was uh, uh, warned uh, in 2016. And it's, it feels good.